Hey YouTube, let's do a shrimp update. April 2018. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, we're going to come at you with a shrimp update for uh, April 2018. Just going to walk through all my shrimp tanks and show you guys what I've got going. This is the mixed Taiwan B tank and things are going really good in here as you can see. Been a lot of breeding going on lately. Shrimp are going nuts for their food right now. And it's just really taken a turn for the better in the last few months. You remember this tank, I, I wasn't having deaths, but I just wasn't getting any breeding done. And now all of a sudden, for whatever reason, things have really taken off. You can see blue bolts, shadow pandas, pandas, BKKs, red bolts, or pinkish bolts, I guess, if you will. All sorts of different babies and everything, so really happy. Uh, I couldn't be happier with this tank, and uh, we'll just continue to watch this one hopefully develop and grow. Um, up above here are the Super Crystal Reds. I added a few to this tank recently. Um, Eric Lucas was in town for our uh, annual uh, Minnesota Aquarium Society show, and I pre-ordered and um, had him bring me a bag of one lines, and then at the show he had uh, some, uh, I guess, two lines, and so I've added 20 to this tank now. In addition to the ones that I had, I had about 10 or 15, so hopefully we'll get some good breeding going on um, and uh, be able to really develop this colony as well. When you got the camera on, it's easier to sometimes for me to notice buried females. I'm just trying to look and see if I can. Oh, that might be one that had just turned. Yep. Try to zoom in, focus, I mean. Anyway, these guys are doing good and um, really hoping to uh, get this colony bumping along. Um, over here, we'll just go through the uh, tanks that you've all seen a bunch of times, but here's the low grade Crystal Reds. They're doing great. Sold a bunch of those at our uh, fish show a couple weeks ago. A little bit of algae on the glass so it's harder to focus but um, next door are the uh, kind of mixed pinto, black pinto tank. I gotta do some culling. There's some Michelings in there and then there's some from my first batch of pintos that kind of have some bluish on them and I don't really want those in there anymore but these guys have been breeding quite often and you can see there's a baby right there. But uh, this colony's done real well. There's babies in there. Um, some of the more recent ones that I got um, have grown into adults that are breeding size now, so that's nice. The uh, SS to SSS grade colony of Crystal Reds is doing real well here, too. Um, sold off a lot of these recently, too, so the colony is smaller. I'm going to try to grow that back out a little bit. And then the PRLs next door have been doing pretty good too. There was some breeding going on and uh, had a bunch of babies. Um, so this colony did expand. I sold off some of them as well to some local friends that needed some. And um, we'll just continue to monitor this one and hopefully uh, expand this colony as well. All right, over here in the corner, these eight tanks and um, we'll start off here with the Blue Dream Neos. They're doing good, continue to breed like crazy. Some of these tanks over here are kind of torn up because I harvested a bunch of plants to uh, sell at our local fish show. Um, thanks to everybody locally that watches these videos too that bought stuff from me and um, hope everything's working out good for you. The Savage Red Colonies continuing to do good. I know I say this every time I shoot a video, but I gotta get in there and do some calling. I just haven't done that, and that's bad on me. But uh, yeah, these guys are doing real well. Something I got here that's a little different than what I've done is I got some dwarf crayfish. And you're witnessing a crayfish fight right now. <laughs> um, I'll show you some more that I got upstairs. These are the adult ones that I picked up from Joe. 
Um, there's seven or eight of them in here. Tank's kind of a mess. Um, I got all this leftover fissidens. I had a big ball of fissidens in here and uh, I tore it apart to, to sell at the fish show. But uh, anyway, they're doing real good. Haven't seen any breeding going on yet, but um, yeah. The red pinto tank is doing fairly well. Um, there's been babies in and out here. A lot of them, I had a big, pretty big batch of babies and they, they're either hiding or they just didn't survive, which is unfortunate. Um, and I know I seem like I say that a lot, but that's just the way it goes for me. Here's one baby right over there. Pretty new too, but anyway. We're going to continue to keep our fingers crossed, and uh, the uh, the red spotted heads, there's another baby I just saw at the end of that uh, skeleton for the leaf there. Um, the uh, red spotted heads that I got from Daryl at DET Aquarium, um, they've grown to uh, pretty much breeding size, and they're around, um, so hopefully that uh, helps out. The uh, white slash golden bees are doing good as well. Sold a bunch of these at our local fish sto show, so I'm kind of down on stock with them, but that's okay. These um, are just the, the cherries slash re um, fire reds slash, in some cases, painted fire reds. What I'm going to probably do is put all these upstairs in the planet tank and I'm looking to probably try some Bloody Marys. I've never had Bloody Marys so I just uh, um, think it would be fun to try those. I like red shrimp um, but it would be cool to get Bloody Marys because they're definitely a different uh, shade and a uh, different uh, brightness or whatever. Then down below here, sorry for my hand, are the Crystal Blacks. They've been doing fairly good, as you can see, there's babies. We're going to continue to hope that we can expand this colony, and um, that's about all I can say. Um, and then the Thai Bee Tank. Gotten quite, uh, quite a mixture of colors and patterns in here. Some of them I don't even know what you would refer to them as, but that's fine. Just having fun with this tank. And then we can go upstairs and look at the final couple tanks here. So this is the uh, other crayfish tank. Um, I got these from Jerry Asper. These were uh, kind of baby size and they're already starting to grow. There's a little algae down there, so I apologize, but um, some of these are gonna be blue and some are gonna be brown couple of cherry shrimp left in there too that I got to pull out from when I used to keep cherry shrimp in this tank. Um, here is the 90 gallon planted with a bunch of really nice red cherries or I'd call them fire reds and in some case painted fire reds. But they're all over this uh, hardscape. Really having problems with the camera focusing here today. Um, this scape is finally starting to bounce back too for those of you that follow this. Um, the Monte Carlo carpet is really taken off. I had, uh, or I've got some uh, Blackbeard algae problems as you can see. I treated a bunch of it um, and it's going away. You can see it's turned white, but I only could drain the water down so low before I could spray it. So I'm going to just remove these other rocks by hand and get rid of the Blackbeard on there cut out what's on here but yeah this is basically just a red shrimp and cardinal tetra tank and uh, they do just fine together the cardinals don't eat the shrimp they may eat babies but I'm not worried about that I wanted to have fish and shrimp in here they're not going to eat the adult shrimp so and then finally down below I shouldn't say finally because there's one more tank after this um, continuing to work on this wine red slash ruby red slash RKK, whatever you want to call it, tank. As you remember, I picked up 10 more. 
And then last week, or a couple weekends ago, when Eric Lucas was up here, I picked up some from him as well. So there should be about 25 to 30 in this tank all together. They don't always all seem to come out. I thought I did see a baby recently, so I'm hoping that there is some breeding going on here as well, but time will tell on that. And then the final tank, which is the one that makes me pull my hair out the most, is the Blue Bolt tank. Just continue to lose them over time slowly. I don't know what's going on. The parameters are all in check in this tank, and uh, I don't know. I just don't get it, but part of me thinks I should just tear this tank down and start over, but we'll wait and see. Alright guys, so that's really all I've got for you on this tour. Um, hope you enjoyed the shrimp tanks. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification button so that you know when I do upload more videos. Um, in addition to these shrimp videos, I upload videos on my saltwater tanks and all my cichlid tanks. As you can see, I've got a fairly large fish room in my basement where I keep cichlids as well. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you're interested in any of the shrimp in this video, some of them I've got available for sale, some of them I don't. My email will be in the uh, comments section and you can just uh, shoot me an email and ask about it. Until next time guys, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you later.